Oh, hey, what's up? You probably noticed the f***ing candelabra in the back, dude. Yes. Big things happening over here. This is the kind of energy we got on this channel now, so welcome back. It's starting to look more and more like a f***ing unplugged concert. <laughs> Anyways, I woke up today. I have the day off. I figured I might as well upload something. And I opened up YouTube. I saw a video called 10 Photos That Can Prove That Time Travel Exists. I'd love to see it. Now, realistically, it can be literally any 10 photos ever. We're all constantly time traveling, right? As we sit here, we're aging one second at a time. You put this helmet on your head and uh, you can visit any year you choose. You could even travel into the far future. Our perception. That would be a terrible idea, dude. I've never understood the idea of who the fuck, you know, who would want to travel forward in time. I'm not trying to speed up the process of being outdated. <laughs> I feel like a prehistoric creature. Why the fuck would I advance even further through time? You're going to be like a fucking caveman showing up. ...of time is linear, a continuous sequence of past, present, and future. But what if there were instances that seemed to challenge this understanding? But what if you were Scarlett Johansson? Ever think about that? Instances so perplexing that they make us question the... What if you were a fucking Marvel superhero? Hmm? I love the idea that you can just half-ass create a video and use Marvel movies for your B-roll. ...fabric of our reality. This video will journey through 10 captivating photographs that have stirred debate and wonder, suggesting the possibility that time travel might just be more than a fictional concept. We're talking about time travel here. Either it's all a joke. I'm just saying, you get a couple more credible B-roll images, maybe a scientist here or there, maybe just show me one glimpse of like Einstein in between Doctor Who and the Incredible Hulk, you know, add in a little bit of solidity. <laughs> to, to your claims here. Number one, the Charlie Chaplin's Time Traveler. In 2010, a curious footage from a DVD of Charlie Chaplin's 1928 film, The Circus, began making rounds on the internet. The scene in question was not from the film itself, but from the extras. It was a clip of the film's premiere at the Man's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. A woman can be seen walking by. I thought we were focusing on the zebra. Now I gotta fucking... I gotta go back. Zebra looked off, dude. I didn't... How are... Who were we to say that that's not a, a zebra from the future? I came back to try to warn the other circus animals. Who's to say? A woman can be seen walking by, holding an object to her ear that's uncannily reminiscent of a modern-day mobile phone. She seems to be talking into it as she walks, lost in her own world. Who the hell would she even be talking to? Unless that phone can communicate through time if i take my cell phone back to fucking the 1600s who the fuck do i have the call dude unless i traveled back in time with like a pal a buddy bring a buddy of mine and we both got cell phones this is decades before mobile phones were even a concept let alone a reality several explanations emerged soon after the clip went viral <laughs> I mean, I would have believed it if she was like setting up a tripod and a ring light and she was like doing fucking like TikTok dances. Then I'd be like, hmm, something seems fishy. <laughs> Quantum physics has proposed the existence of multiple timelines where the past, present, and future coexist. If such theories are to be believed, then maybe, just maybe, the woman was a fleeting visitor from another timeline. Whether a mere optical illusion, a misinterpretation, or an actual glimpse into the mysterious world of time travel. Man, all of these top tens, they just like, do they have a word count they're trying to fucking hit? Like, can we get on to the second picture already? Holy shit. Number two, the 1940s Swiss watch in a 400 year old tomb. In an ex. Say 400 though. In a 400 year old tomb. <laughs> But it said 1940s, fine. I don't understand. I don't understand. 
Okay, so more importantly, more important than the 10 photos that prove time travel, this video proves robots make YouTube content because no human says 400 as 400. We're all just gonna, we're all gonna ignore that, that very non-human speak that just happened. Within a sealed tomb in Shaanxi, China, which had not been opened for over 400 years, they found a small yet unmistakably modern artifact, a tiny gold watch, intricately carved with the word Swiss on its back. Time travel enthusiasts were quick to raise their voices. To them, this was yet another piece of tangible evidence pointing towards the existence of time travelers. So somebody traveled from 1940 backwards 400 years? and then left their incredibly tiny watch in the tomb somehow? Some suggested the possibility of the tomb being reopened and resealed at some later point in time. I would like to come to the conclusion that is time traveling, but you, you gotta start with the simplest shit, right? Tomfoolery. You gotta start at tomfoolery, and you gotta whittle your way down to fucking aliens and time traveling. When you're... <laughs> When you're completely out of all their shit, chalk it up to fucking time-traveling aliens with tiny fucking wrists. It stands as a testament to our limited understanding of time, history, and perhaps even alternate realities. I don't know about all that, dude. It stands as a testament to, to fucking hooligans and pranksters. Somewhere there's a fucking Chinese Jake Paul. I swear to God. It'll come out. Number three. The hipster of 1941. Yeah. One photograph that has perpetually fascinated and confounded historians and time travel aficionados alike is the curious case of the so-called hipster of 1941. It is an image that seems benign at first glance, yet becomes increasingly puzzling upon closer inspection. Taken during the reopening ceremony of the South Forks Bridge in British Columbia, the black and white... This makes sense. This would be where the fucking time-traveling hipster would be from. There's a million fucking hipsters. Guys that look exactly like me. Fucking walking around. He looks starkly out of place among his contemporaries of the early 40s. The stark contrast of his attire to those... What do we think, guys? What do we think, guys? Time-traveling hipsters sent from the future to look at this fucking bridge? <laughs> What the fuck is so important about this bridge? The hipster of 1,941 inches looks undeniably out of place. 1,000... <laughs> 1,941 inches? Hey, top 10 channels, give your video a quick watch before you upload it. How is every top 10 video like this <laughs> just give it a give it a once over dude maybe send it to a friend even if every piece of his attire could be explained the culmination of them together on one individual in 1941 is exceedingly rare so he was fresh as fuck dude leave him alone you caught it there was just a cool guy you got a picture of a cool guy in the 1940s congratulations number four the woman talking on a mobile in 1928 here we fucking go again, dude. The short clip extracted from the extras of Charlie Chaplin's 1928 silent film, The Circus. What? Why? Why? <laughs> this is breaking my fucking brain, dude. Why did you have two clips from the same movie and place them multiple numbers apart from each other? Just fucking... You could have done two back to back. We're back. We're circling back on this fucking film again. And it's the same shit. It's a fucking cell phone. Fuck you, dude. How could a woman from the 1920s be holding what appears to be a communication device eerily reminiscent of a mobile phone? Time travel enthusiasts posited that the woman was indisputably a time traveler, providing yet another piece of evidence to the... I mean, indisputable is pretty strong. Oh, shit. Actually, I guess maybe the lady in the first clip did come here with a friend. Dude, they're talking to each other. Problem solved. Now I'm back on board with the time traveling. Now... I'm 100% in, dude. <laughs> I mean, again, there's no cell phone towers or, you know, internet or anything like that. But pish posh, dude, ignore that shit. That gets in the way of the fun. We're having fun here. This is time traveling. <laughs> Number five, the time traveling shoe print. Among the various anomalies that challenge our understanding of chronological history, there exists a footprint. Not just any footprint, but one that has perplexed historians and scientists alike. Really? 
these are the fucking images. Is this guy an actual scientist? I'm not trying to be rude, but when I picture a scientist, I'm not picturing this guy. This is the story of a shoe print found fossilized in rock that is believed to be over 200 million years old. Such an astonishing find naturally ignited waves of speculation and intrigue. How could a shoe print possibly exist in a time period so ancient? Was it possible that human-like beings or even time travelers had once walked the earth during the time of the dinosaurs? I would like to see a better picture of this shoe print, dude. Because like, honestly, I'm so dumb. I don't know how anything works. I understand the carbon date, all of that. Is it possible, right? Hear me out. Is it possible that they're wrong about the date of this footprint? There's a couple of things that I would guess before time traveler. And that's the overwhelming theme of this video. Don't think at all. Don't, don't even try to come up with a different conclusion. Just roll the fucking Marvel B-roll and let's get on board with fucking time traveling. Yet what kept the mystery of the shoe print alive and contentious was the detailed stitch-like patterns along its perimeter. Natural formations. Dude, we're seeing so many different fucking footprints. I don't even, I don't even know which one is the one that we're talking about. Which is the one in question? You're showing me like 20 different shoes in, in footprints. I don't, I can't, I can't even come up with my own idea of what it possibly is if you don't show me the fucking picture. Number six, Andrew Carlson, the stock market wizard. Nice. In the annals of time travel lore, few tales are as intriguing and contemporary as that of Andrew Carlson. Emerging seemingly out of nowhere in the early 2000s, Carlson achieved what can only be described as an unprecedented and inexplicable financial feat. Within a short span of two weeks, with an initial investment of $800, this video just continues to throw me for a loop, dude. Just, you get, you get sunk, you sink in, right? You get lulled into being like into the video a little bit. And then he says something jarring like $1.800 or 1,941 inch hipster. And it just sort of fucking jars you. Just jars you right back into being like, oh yeah, this whole thing is fucking dumb. <laughs> fortune of over $350 million through a series of high-risk stock trades. Such yeah, a miraculous dude. surge in wealth naturally caught the attention of the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. Carlson offered predictions about future events, such as mentioning companies that would soon rise to prominence or technological advancements on the horizon. Skeptics, of course, had a field day. They argued that Carlson might simply be an extraordinarily skilled trader or that he had access to insider information. Others speculated that the time travel story was an elaborate ruse designed to cover up illegal activities or deflect attention. Hmm, some, some sort of shady business happening on the stock exchange? That doesn't sound right. That almost never happens. This simply has to be chalked up to a breaking of physics as we know it. The shattering of everything you've known since a child. Because I'll tell you this, dude, if there's any honest group of people, it's the people fucking trading on the stock market. All of them. All of the time. No one could find any record of his existence before 2002. He seemed to have appeared out of thin air with no past, no history, and no background. The story takes an even stranger twist when, after being released on bail, Carlson disappeared without a trace. All efforts to locate him proved futile. Is there even any real proof that this guy existed the way that they're saying he did? You can't just tell me that this guy existed and he did all this amazing shit and there's no viable source of proof that he's even real. Like this guy might as well be the Loch Ness Monster. Wilson serves as a modern testament to humanity's fascination with time travel. It poses the eternal question. If time travel were possible, what would one do with that knowledge? While the truth be well, I'll tell you, don't make a series of sketchy and fucking risky trades that would alert the fucking government of your whereabouts. Play it cool, dude. Make a couple interesting bets here and there. Call a couple things that you know are going to happen. Don't alert the fucking authorities seemingly right away. What are you going to do with that money, man? What you already can travel time. What do you need $300 million for? Number seven. The fighter jet in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Here we go, baby. Hieroglyphs in the temple of Seti Wans in Abydos that bear a striking resemblance to modern-day machinery. These hieroglyphs, 
carved into the ancient limestone walls seem at first glance to depict familiar objects of the modern age. Most notably, there appears to be clear representations of a helicopter, a submarine, a spaceship, and what many believe to be a fighter. This shit is a little bit weird. <laughs> you got me, dude, okay? You play enough of these videos back to back long enough, eventually I'm gonna go. Hmm. Time traveling alien. <laughs> this does weird me out. What is this about, right? I'm sure it's just one of those things where it looks like Black Hawk Down, a spaceship, in Conor McGregor's yacht, but is it? I mean, it is, it's a little bit weird, right? It's like, yeah, you got like snake, triangle, basket, fucking bird, human, Apache attack helicopter, bird, basket, dog person. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I said choose one of those that stands out, you're gonna, you're gonna go with fucking Black Hawk Down. To many, the idea that ancient civilizations might have had glimpses into the future or encounters with extraterrestrial visitors is a tantalizing possibility that challenges our linear understanding of- What if it's like, literally, it was just like a guy freestyled some shit. He ran out of things to say. He just sort of like freestyled a couple images and went, those are just cool shapes I like. I like those shapes. I think they're cool. And he just happened to fucking nail it, dude. What happened to just a good old-fashioned fucking fluke, dude? Maybe there's a fucking ancient Egyptian fluke. <laughs> Whether viewed as mere coincidental overlaps or as hints of otherworldly encounter. J-Rod? Oh shit, is that fucking J-Rod and P-Money? What's up, boys? <laughs> An alien entity known as J-Rod. <laughs> Number eight. The man at the South Forks Bridge opening in 1941. This time he can say fucking 1941. Now it's not so much of a fucking problem, huh? I don't get you, dude. I don't get you. <laughs> ...of time travel speculations, photographic evidence often takes center stage. Among these, a peculiar photograph from 1941 stands out, depicting a scene from the reopening of the South Forks Bridge in Gold Bridge, British Columbia. But amidst the crowd of... Yo, there's a lot of British Columbian shit going on. Apparently I live in the fucking time traveler's hub, dude. This is the place to this is the place to touch down, I guess. Uh, it's always under the release of a new bridge. Yo, we cannot get enough of bridges. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you could go back in time, are you going to look at the fucking unveiling of a new bridge, dude? Obviously. <laughs> they have a real fascination with bridges in the future, I think. Everybody's just like autistic. They're just here to see new bridges and fucking old trains and shit. Plaid attendees, one man appears oddly out of place, causing many to label him the time traveling hipster. The photograph, now widely. Am I having a fucking stroke, dude? You already talked about this guy. Is this, a, is this some sort of fucking time traveling prank? Are you trying to convince me I'm traveling back in time again? Because we're looking at the same fucking guy. God damn it. Whoever made this video, if this is like a meta joke, if this is like a meta time traveling joke, then that's, hey, fair game. I, I can't, I mean, again, dude, just fucking, wa hey, watch your video before you fucking upload it. This type of shit does not need to be happening. You have 2.3 million views on, on this shit. Number nine. The painting with a man holding a modern device. Art in its myriad form. Here we fucking go again, dude. iPhones, they just keep popping up in the past, huh? Way to go, Steve Jobs. One such enigma is embedded in a painting that has sent ripples through the community of time travel enthusiasts. An artwork that seemingly portrays a man engrossed in a modern day device. The painting in question is The Expected One by Austrian artist Ferdinand Georg Waldmuller created in the 1860s. At first glance, it depicts a young woman walking along a rural path, holding a small box with a bowed head, seemingly in a gesture of prayer. However, upon- <laughs> This whole fucking video is falling apart, dude. What was the other picture? What was the picture with the indigenous guy holding a phone? We're not even talking about that one. We're talking about this one? 
Stay focused. Show me the fucking picture. And don't show me irrelevant pictures. Because it fucking muddies the waters. I guess we're talking about this photo, though. In closer inspection, the box bears an uncanny resemblance to a modern smartphone. The young woman appears to be looking intently at the object, much like how one would while reading a text message or viewing a photo. However, as with most historical anomalies, there's a more grounded interpretation. What is this photo? What is this one? And why do you keep fucking showing it to me? Are we talking about it or not? Art historians and critics note that the young woman is holding a hymn book or a small Bible, common in religious-themed artworks of that period. That was my first guess. That was the first thing I thought of, and I didn't think long. <laughs> the act of reading a sacred text in quiet contemplation is a recurring motif in religious art, symbolizing devotion and reflection. The glow or light that some argue emanates from the device could simply be the reflective sheen from the gilded pages or a stylistic choice by the artist. Moreover, the very essence of art lies in interpretation and subjectivity. Artists often took liberties with their subjects, infusing them with symbolism, allegory, and sometimes a touch of whimsy. <laughs> a touch of whimsy. Could it be a touch of whimsy or full-blown time traveling? Number 10. The 1960s astronaut in a medieval cathedral. Okay, here we go, dude. Number 10. We made it. This is the last one. And it better be a fucking banger. The serene and spiritual ambiance of cathedrals often invites introspection and reverence. But in the city of Salamanca in Spain, the serene ambiance of its historic cathedral hides a whimsical and, to many, baffling detail. Among the centuries-old carvings on the facade of the new cathedral of Salamanca... Jesus, it's so fucking ornate and beautiful. Mind you, I don't know if we're actually looking at the right thing, because this could be any random picture that this uploader fucking decided to put in this video. Consistency and honesty haven't been the strong suits in this video. <laughs> so who knows what fucking temple we're looking at. Figure that stands out from the rest, an unmistakable carving of an astronaut. This figure, complete with detailed space boots, a helmet, and what appears to be life support equipment, seems wholly out of place on a cathedral built between the 16th and 18th centuries, long before the idea of space exploration came into human consciousness. I mean, these buildings have people work on them all the time. I wouldn't, like, it wouldn't be outrageous to think that maybe there was an additional guy at it or something. Is that silly? Hold up. I mean, I just put in the bare minimum possible work to look into this claim in immediately immediately as in like the first fucking option on google said social media users have been sharing a post which claims that experts have been unable to explain why there is a stone statue of an apparent astronaut carved into a church built in the 1600s however uh it is explained on the cathedral website spanish national media and other culture and tourism websites that the astronaut was added in 1992 as a part of restoration works. So, I mean, <laughs> now we painfully have like a minute and a half to listen to this guy pontificate about whether or not time is linear and if we need to open our fucking brains when Google exists. I don't even need, I don't even need to think anymore, dude. I just punch it into fucking Google it has, <laughs> it has the answer right away. For time travel enthusiasts and ancient astronaut theorists, the presence of this astronaut is a smoking gun, a clear indication of either time traveling visitors or extraterrestrial influences. <laughs> okay. Well, holy fuck, dude. I really do hope time travel's real because someday I would like to regain the 26 minutes I just spent watching this fucking horrendous video and get it back, dude. I'm never gonna get that time back. And now I've just passed the curse on to you guys, whoever watches this video. For however long this video is posted, I will continue to steal time from you. Give me my 26 minutes back. God damn it. Let me know what you guys think. Am I being too harsh? Is some of this legitimately uh, proof, dude? Is this proof of time traveling? What about that little tiny watch, though? What about the little tiny fucking watch? Proof.
What about the what about all the cell phones? What about the footprint, guys? Proof. Undeniable. Proof. What about the guy, dude? What about the guy who did some shit and won money? Huh? What about that guy? Proof. <laughs> Time traveling. What about the pyramids? What about the pyramid? What about the fucking hipster? Explain that to me. Proof. Time traveling. <laughs> what about ScarJo? Huh? Proof. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Tell me what you think of this video. Hit like, hit subscribe. While you're leaving a comment down there, make sure you ring the notification bell. You'll be notified next time I upload. And until next time, peace. Snake, triangle, basket, fucking bird, human, Apache attack helicopter?